Um, so it was Ellen DeGeneres who inspired me to try stand-up comedy. Uh, I'm not sure if you know, but she doesn't actually have a surname. Her name's just Ellen, like Madonna. Mm. DeGeneres was actually a nickname that was given to her by an old Dutch girlfriend of hers. She said, Ellen gives your time to the charities and helping the young people. I call her the generous one. <laughs> Ellen liked it and kept it. Before that, she actually had a Scottish girlfriend who also thought she was generous. She called her Ellen Funny Yankee Carpet Puncher who looks clipped like a fat kid looks like a dog stomp. Yeah, she just didn't end up using that in the end. So I'm from Scotland where everyone's fairly miserable and a bit negative. You look up the word positive in the Scottish dictionary, it says refer HIV. <laughs> a Scottish guy called Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Pretty good invention. I mean, people went up to congratulate him, he's like, nah, it's useless. I'm the only one that's got one. <laughs> <laughs> so I met this uh, nice old Aussie guy recently, he was a bit confused. He said, What part of Ireland are you from, mate? I said, um, what part of New Zealand are you from? I was like, I'm a bloody Aussie, she can't. I said, I'm from Glasgow, mate. He goes, ah, oh, sweet. I said, um, it's just north of Dublin. He went, I know where it is, mate. He seemed happy, so we left it there. And I met this other Aussie, uh, really awkward Aussie guy at a barbecue once. I said, oh, what are you doing? He goes, I'm a carpenter. I said, oh, nice. He said, what do you make? He didn't even flinch. He went, about two grand a week, mate. <laughs> and I said, no, no, what do you make? He went, no, I just take some cheese and shit. You seem happy. <laughs> um, so there's this really sweet American barmaid at our pub quiz in Paddington. And then, uh, I mean, she's really thick, but she's a lovely girl, right? So she, she doesn't know any of the American answers. And um, she Googles a lot of answers for us and still gets them wrong. So then the question came up and said, what, can you name the last six American states alphabetically? So Taylor runs over, she's like, I know this, I know this, is a song they teach you at school. And I'm like, fucking finally. So then she starts singing, right? She starts singing Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas. She's all the way through, she gets to Pennsylvania and then she goes, I can't remember the rest. <laughs> Annoying. So uh, like you, I love a drink and I messed up massively last Saturday night when I was hammered. So I got home at like 1 a.m. and I ordered about $140 worth of Uber Eats. But I just kept adding sweet potato fries. The Uber guy came to the door thinking he was coming to some massive house party. And I answered the door in my boxer shorts. So I went to bed, right? And then there's this girl that I know that I've sort of, I like her a bit more than she likes me. So I sent her a text message when I was in my bed. I said, maybe we should be more than friends. Maybe we should be like, fuck, what is, you know? So then I fell asleep and I woke up the next morning, you know, surrounded by sweet potato fries. <laughs> and I looked at my phone and I see the message that I've sent. But because I'm drunk and hungover, I think that she sent that message to me. <laughs> so then I'm so all excited. I replied to my own message going, oh fuck, I'd be well up for that. Pretty uh, depression to see that drop on the same side of the conversation. <laughs> so I'll just give you a quick insight into the Scottish culinary palate. So um, I was walking past a fish and chip shop in Glasgow uh, once, and there was a sign outside from the health inspector that said that the place was closed because there was rats on the property. And someone had put up their own sign next to it saying, rats, I don't give a fuck about rats. I'm gonna go to the fish and chip shop because it's healthy, you can't. It's <laughs> a good point. I'll leave you with this. So, um, um, yeah, I was in a public toilet in Glasgow a while back and there was some graffiti on the wall and it was just really touching and poignant. I'm sure. It said, um, the hardest thing in the world is to love someone unconditionally and unequivocally and know deep down they don't feel the same way about you. Just beautiful. And next to it, someone had written, Try wiping your arse with any toilet paper. 